What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating system look like an Alienware. Okay, so first of all you'll need to download one thing, you can download it from Mega right here by go ahead and click download, no server or anything, or you can come to Dropbox and download it. Now I've already downloaded it, so for me it says open, for you it'll say download. So go ahead and download it from wherever you'd like, and this is what you should get. So you'll need WinRAR or WinZip to extract a file, right click it, click extract here. Now this is what you should get, you should get a folder like this which says Alienware Transformation, go ahead and open that up. Now you can see there's four things, the first thing you'll need to do is come to Universal Theme Patcher. Now you'll see there is an x64 and an x86. x86 means 32-bit, this means 64-bit. To find out which one you're on, come to Start, right-click Computer, and click Properties. Now from here you'll see it says System Type 64-bit Operating System for me. For you it might say 32-bit, that is not a problem. So whatever you're on, just go ahead and run it. I'm on a 64-bit, so I'm going to run this. Just go ahead and click Yes. Click OK. And then just go ahead and click Yes and now you should have it all done so you can see it says patched yes 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 now you can just go ahead and exit out of that now come back to the folder right here now we've got a theme resource changer we need to run this again pick which one you're on 32 bit is x86 64 bit obviously x64 go ahead and run that now click yes now from here just click next again click i have read and understand next and then it's just going to install okay so you can see right here theme resource change back x64 version point 1.0 has been successfully installed on your computer. Just go ahead and click OK. Now come back to the folder again, which is right here. Now we've got two things remaining. We've got the Alienware Theme Raider and we've got a concave theme. Now we're going to do the concave theme first. So come to start, go to your computer. Just go ahead and open this up. Go to your local disk, go to Windows. Now from here we want to go ahead and look for resources, which is right here. Now come to themes. Now it's very simple to do. Put this to the side by pressing start and the right arrow like that. Click on the other transformation pack which is this. Now click start on the left arrow. And then this is what we got. The concave theme right here. All we need to do, forget about read me. Hold control, click concave 7 and click the concave 7 folder. So make sure them are checked. Go ahead and drag them into the themes over here. And now that is done, so you can close out of this. Now there's one last thing remaining in the Alienware Transformation Pack, and of course it is this right here. All we need to do is go ahead and double click this. As you can see, it's going to do its thing. Boom! There we go. You have now got an Alienware looking computer. It is that simple. Now this will be black, it's just because I actually have a Mac a theme currently on so it looks a bit messed up you can see I've got the Mac folders so yeah all of this would be black and you can see we even get the Alienware wallpaper and if we come over to the start it lights up blue as you hover over it so I'm gonna quickly uninstall the Mac theme I've got on so you can see the full thing of what it actually looks like okay so here we go we're back you can see we got the standard Windows 7 back now what you need to do to get to your theme just right click click personalize and there we go right there, Alienware Theme Raider, that's what it's called, you just go ahead and click that and just wait. There we go, now you can see it's all black like I said it would be, I've taken my Mac theme off and this is the full theme you'll get. It's really nice, you can see, it's all black, you can highlight over stuff, it looks like a really nice design. And yeah, even the icons have changed here as you can see. And um, yeah, so we go into the browse and you'll see that it has changed. As you can see, there you go, it's gone black up here. I was wrong about this part going uh, black. I guess that's just part of Chrome, so that's not going to change. But other than that, you can see the parts that have gone black. And if you don't like the wallpaper, of course you can change it to whatever you would want. I'm pretty sure all of you know how to change a wallpaper, so I just done and changed it to mine right there. So you can see, you can have your own wallpaper, you don't have that specific one. But everything else is how it is, you can't really change it. But if you don't like the theme and you want to install it, just reverse everything we've done in the video, do it backwards. And then to change a theme, just right click, click personalize, and now go ahead and just click Windows 7. And you'll see we have now gone back to the normal Windows 7. 
But anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13, Photoshop, or even After Effects, be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter where I'll keep you updated what I'm doing and I can interact with you guys. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll go ahead and post three to four times a week and just play random games. And finally, be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.